If you're visiting Da Tong, you definitely have to make a trip to the Xuan Kong Su. This monastery was built over 1500 years ago, right into the side of a cliff, 75 meters above the ground. This odd location was chosen to protect it from floods, rain, snow, and the sun. Also, the builders followed a Taoist principle that there should be no noise, hence the location far above the ground. This happens to be the only existing temple that combines three Chinese traditional religions, Fu Jiao, Dao Jiao, He Ru Jiao. If you look down, just remember, Wu Yao Hai Pa. Next up, we visited Han Shan. This is one of the five sacred mountains in China, known in Chinese as Wu Yue. Mount Hung was declared Bei Yue by the emperor thousands of years ago. A path winds its way up the mountains, dotted with temples. Walking along, you get plenty of great views. Due to its location in the far north, it was nearly impossible for people to make a pilgrimage here in the past. As a result, this is probably the least religiously important of the major mountains. It's still an interesting place to visit, and you can get a good workout by climbing the stairs and stopping to admire the many temples. Luckily for us, we picked a good day to visit. Chun Tian Han Hao, Bu Lang, Ye Bu Ru. We walked along the path and checked out a wide variety of temples, and we even found some statues hidden in the mountain. A sketchy staircase led us up to this platform, where we enjoyed the panoramic view below. We took the lazy way down with the Lan Chua in order to rest our tired legs and relax. At the bottom, we saw this statue that tells the story of a man who rode his donkey backwards up the mountain. Then it was time to get some lunch. We got two bowls of noodles. One was the Shanxi specialty. Mao Er Duo. Don't worry, they aren't real cat ears. Some cold beers and hot noodles wound down a great day in Datong. <laughs>